Welcome to another Celtic Evensong service. If we were in Scotland at this time, we would be on Iona, in, in that wonderful abbey there on that island. It's a Benedictine abbey, tall ceilings, and, and the, the romance of beautiful lights in the dark and the night. And we would gather together and pray these prayers. The prayers come from Iona Abbey worship book that they use even this day, and we do as well in our services. And so we begin our Celtic Evensong service with a prayer. It's a prayer of a service of quiet. Let us pray. Jesus, you commanded waves to be still and calmed a stormy sea. Quiet now our restless hearts that they may find rest in you. We recognize the noise inside us and the noises around us, and we acknowledge them. But seek here to know your presence in the midst of all that might distract us. So now we surrender for these moments our speech, knowing that beneath the silence is a deeper word, and that even when we say nothing, you are still listening. Amen. And so then, for music, for my own, for prayers that we continue, for the psalms that we say, I welcome you to this service. reading from Psalm 12. Save us, good God, in a world without integrity, where none can be trusted. People tell lies to each other. They are masters of double speak. God, bring an end to such talk and silence the tongues that brag. We can talk our way out of trouble. With spin, we will win the day. Now I will act, says God. Now I will answer the prayers of the oppressed. I have heard their cries. I will give them the safety they long for. The promise of God is pure, refined like silver and gold. Though wickedness thrives all around, though shamelessness meets with applause, you, our God, will protect us and save us from all that we fear.
And now let us gather in prayer, a prayer that comes to us from the Iona Abbey Worship Book, a prayer for this day. Let us pray. Jesus, people came to you when they were in trouble or pain. Friends carried them. Strangers told you about them. Some invited you into their homes or met you walking on the road. You listened to them, you prayed with them, and you brought hope and healing into their lives. So this day, we bring into our minds and hold in God's presence those for whom we have been asked to pray. Jesus, you welcomed children and blessed them. You gave their parents courage and hope. We remember our children and our parents this day. Jesus, through your words and touch, those who were distressed found peace, and those who were tormented found rest. So we pray for those who are distressed this day. And Jesus, you pray for those who were sick, and you restored them to health. So we name before you all those persons who are dealing with the virus this day, those who are Diagnose those who have gotten better, those who are in our hospitals, those who work to heal them, and those who have died. Oh Jesus, you wept for the city you loved. Oh Jesus, in your words and actions, the oppressed found justice and the angry found release. Loving Jesus, you knew the joy of God's presence day by day. And may we find that joy this very day. In his name we pray. Amen.